what's up? Hello, you're watching Sex, Just the Facts, a show where the Flint, Michigan, Planned Parenthood, peer educators talk about sex, health, relationships, and everything in between. By the way, I'm Dante. Hi, I'm Zakara. And I'm Nikia. And we have a question for you. We wanted to ask, do you know how hormonal birth control works? We're going to talk about how hormonal birth control methods work in your body. But before we can talk about that, we need to talk about the sexual and reproductive anatomy of a biological female. <laughs> to say that some people are born with external and internal sex organs that are not easily described as totally male or totally female. These people are sometimes called intersex. By the way, about 1 in 2,000 people in the U.S. are born intersex. Okay, so there's a lot of sex and reproductive organs that you can't see from just looking at someone's body. So let's start with the female internal anatomy. So the ovaries are where a lot of stuff goes down. There are two small organs that store eggs in a woman's body. An egg is a cell that joins with the male sperm to start a pregnancy. One egg is so tiny, it's about the size of a grain of sand. Ovaries make a bunch of hormones in the body, including estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. Once puberty starts, the ovary usually sends out one egg each month. The ovaries are connected to the fallopian tubes. The fallopian tubes are two very narrow tubes that carry eggs from the ovaries to the uterus. The uterus is the pear-shaped organ that shapes this lining when a woman gets her period. <laughs> That's right, and it's also where a normal pregnancy happens, also called the womb. So at the bottom of the uterus is a narrow opening, the cervix. The cervix is the opening that connects the uterus to the vagina. A lot of people think the vagina is what's on the outside of a female body, but it's actually an internal tube of tissue that can be two to four inches long when a female is not aroused and four to eight inches long when she is aroused. The vagina has three main functions. One, it allows menstrual flow to leave the body. Two, it can allow sexual penetration to happen, most commonly by a hand, sex toy, tongue, or penis. And three, it can allow a baby to pass through during vaginal delivery. Speaking of the vagina, the reason most of us are here today is due to ovulation. What exactly is ovulation? I don't know, give me hip. So, ovulation is when the brain sends a signal to the egg and the egg goes through the fallopian tube. What? In other words, ovulation is when the egg is released and might be able to meet up with the sperm cell. If it doesn't link up with the sperm cell, then the egg and some of the uterine lining is shed and it's called getting your period. I get it now. Egg fallopian tube. Boom. Boom. So do you know what happens when the egg and sperm do meet up? No, I don't. Good, because I don't either. But Makia does. So Makia. That's right. When the egg meets up with the sperm, it's called fertilization. Things mm, are starting to sound familiar. So what exactly is fertilization? Isn't that something that uh, you use for plants? <laughs> to make things simple, fertilization happens when a woman is fertile. When a woman is fertile, that's when it's possible for a sperm cell and an egg to join. The trick is fertilization doesn't always happen. Some days it does, some days it doesn't. So what you're telling me is that fertilization and ovulation happens at the same time. Well, ovulation releases an egg, the egg heads down the fallopian tubes. If it meets up with the sperm cell, then it leads to fertilization. Oh yeah, I know what happens next. If the fertilized egg sticks to the uterus wall and starts to grow, that's how a pregnancy can start. Well, I'm definitely not ready for that in my life. So what can we do to prevent that from happening? There are a lot of different forms of birth control, but for this video, we're just going to talk about the hormonal birth control methods for females. I can handle this. <laughs> you got this. There are many different hormonal methods of birth control, such as... There's a pill. A ring. An implant. And a shock. Oh. Well, what you don't know is... How hormonal birth control methods work. Hey, for sure. So all these methods release one or two hormones called estrogen or progestin. One of a combo of these hormones keeps eggs from leaving the ovaries, which keeps sperm from getting to the eggs. It also thickens the mucus around the cervix, so the sperm stays. Blocked. What well, about sums that up? Wait, I want to talk about the shot. Go ahead and don't play. Well, this is how the shot works. Every three months, you take a shot in your arm, hip, or butt. Bam. The shot releases a hormone called progestin. It keeps the egg from leaving the ovaries which keeps the sperm from getting to the eggs. Well, I guess someone should talk about the implant then. I would love to 
talk about the implant. The implant is a tiny flexible rod placed in the biceps of the arm. It's placed there through a small incision made by a doctor, a nurse, or a healthcare assistant. It's placed there after numbing your arm and it can last up to three years. Plus, no one has to know that it's there unless you tell them. And if you ever want to remove it, remove it at any time. Anyways, moving on. Right. So, the ring is quite simple, actually. You insert the ring into the vagina by pinching the sides together and gently pushing it into the vagina. You change the ring just about once a month, keep it in for three weeks, and then you have a ring free week. After that, you put a new ring and you're good to go. And don't worry if the ring slips out. If it's out for less than 48 hours, then wash it off with room temperature water and reinsert it. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, we completely left out the IUDs or the intrauterine devices. You're so right. So, IUDs are small T-shaped pieces of plastic or copper that are inserted into the uterus. But unlike the ring, you can't insert it yourself. It must be inserted by a clinician or a doctor. Once it's there, the copper IUD changes the lining of the uterus, making it harder for the sperm cells to move and reach the egg. The plastic IUD is hormonal, meaning it works like the other hormonal methods. Yeah, 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 we remember. Basically, the eggs just chilling in the ovaries and the cervix is blocking the sperm. The IE method is long lasting. Like, it can last from 3 to 12 years. Long lasting. Last but definitely not least, <laughs> one of the most common and most simple methods of birth control is the pill. So, with the pill, you take one every day at the same time. And if you miss taking the pill, and take it as soon as you remember. And remember, with hormonal birth control methods, they only protect against pregnancies and not any STDs or, or HIV. Oh, for sure. You still gotta wrap it up and get tested regularly. So anyway, check the description box below for more information and the links to the PlannedParenthood.org website. Comment below. Like below. Subscribe below. Love below. And also, Follow us on Instagram and Twitter or Twitter at PP. See you next time. Sorry, Karen, this yeah. is fast. Yeah. Oh, bye. Dude. Yeah. Hi, Mom. I love you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got a dance in oh, video. Oh, my gosh. <laughs>